It's been quite some time since I've played this game. <laughs> yeah, Bayonetta. <sighs> Cannot wait to get back to playing this. This is, like, not fair. Some kind of evil church people. Well, then again, like, adding the word evil is kind of redundant. <laughs> Oh, hashtag easy targets. But yeah, these are the. Don't worry, don't, not all the cutscenes like this. Just some of them. Usually the ones that are more talky because I guess they ran out of budget. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, this, ooh, ooh, this sexy lady. Who is this person? What's going on? Yeah. This game's going to be pretty cutscene heavy, probably the yeah, definitely got the most longest cutscenes of any game I've Let's Played so far. Bayonetta! Now this is a beast game. Ooh, I love that when the game title is just set on the select screen, Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, boom. Let's just quickly check the options. Yeah, so I've not played this game in, yeah, see the, uh, the tablets control I'll be using that you can use the uh, apparently you can also use the like pro controls and stuff but I'll be using this by default i am using this for this playthrough just to kind of get a feel for what it's like and you can have it in Japanese I guess because they did the uh, anime film based on this game uh, in Japanese so they had a Japanese cast kind of like what they're doing with Devil May Cry 4 special edition but yeah Actually, let's just check out extra. Umbran tears blood. Ah, oh, yeah, the ch the basic basically the achievements. Let's play. So the uh, obviously this is the Wii U version, the uh, definitive. Uh, I go. I guess I'll just go on easy. I might look at me and say, "What a scrub or a noob or some other shit," but oh, I'm invisible. Uh, but yeah, it's. I need to get back to swinging things. I haven't played this game in months. I played it once, like six months ago. So uh, I put on the screen now how long ago it was. It's been a while. Uh, I have played through the, the full game, the game fully twice. I think uh, I actually got this game, uh, the Wii U, because I got the Wii U version of this with Bayo Two. I was planning to, uh, well, the plan was to let's play this like straight away. This is uh, the Bale 1. But, how's this for an intro sequence? But unfortunately, that di it didn't work out that, that way because other games started coming up to uh, Let's Play instead. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's basically Devil May Cry controls. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's lock on again? Yeah, I think I have the controls down fine. But yeah, so I've got, I was going to play. Th I was going to play through this, and plan, but I'm not playing because I played through um, this game in so long. The plan was to play through um, to do a let's play of this and then go straight into Bale Two after that. But no, do this is like the, the uh, refresher course let's play, uh, the refresher course playthrough as it were. But I didn't work out that way, and I kind of lost track of all that. Uh, so I ended up, the game's been out for like two months now, and I'm all just getting around to to this, but I know, I know Bayonetta is a really good game, because I have played through the original on the 360. Apparently the uh, PS3 version is really bad, and you kind of advise not to play through to play that version. Wee. Yeah, she she ha she has a uh, guns on her heels. I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah, so this, this game basically exists because um, Hideki Kamiya, the guy who made Devil May Cry, uh, he and pretty much everyone else who like the old school guys at Capcom said, "No, what Capcom's full of shit now. Let's just go." I mean, he only got, of the four Devil May Cry's that came out uh, before the reboot, he only he only worked on one. He works on one Devil May Cry game. That was the first. So then he made this as like a spiritual successor. It's like the, um, it's like it's like Evil Within and except you know not shit, 
And it's like, um... What was it fucking called now? Uh, Mighty number no. 9, only, you know, actually give a shit about this one. Holy shit! Look at that big mother. But yeah, so it's just... It's, it's kind of shows that Kamiya still has what it takes to do these awesome action games. You know? Hell, this is basically, really if you want a proper sequel to Devil May Cry 4, this is the one to go for, Bayonetta. You know, screw the screw Demas a piece of crap. Help me, I can't. Okay. Now I'm not used to the controls. Cause the thing is, it's just confusing me because um, because Bayonetta's default weapon is guns, you know. So, because she has guns as a, as, because you have the the shoot guns and the melee weapon, which in this case is the guns. Now, I think, I think, I think this bit comes up later in the game, but they were in different outfits or summit. Either that or this, this scene is never given any real context, it's just there to be random. I don't remember. One from Tears of Blood. Basically, the red orbs of this game. Because this game basically just Devil May Cry, but at its most base level, it's Devil May Cry with, a, with a, a woman who's a witch instead of a guy who's a demon. But it's still super, really good, man. I probably just be, kind of be quiet during the cutscenes. Not completely quiet, just a bit. See, so yeah, this is one of those where one of those cutscenes where there's not much motion. It's basically like pictures in a way. Just you no, know, all fully rendered in three D. I guess they didn't have the budget for full scenes. It's like like uh, some games like Yakuza do that, where some scenes will just have, will have the full animation treatment, some limited. But this doesn't even have the, the few limited animations. This is just random poses. These dudes is killing themselves. That's not very religious, is it? Oh, look. Some kind of weird bird monster. The prologue. Ah. Oh, can change costume. Huh. Uh, after the submenu, costume change. Let's see what we've got. Do you, uh, oh, so you, so you don't have any by. Oh. Oh, so they're unlocked by default. That's good. <laughs> the wardrobe of the mushroom. of the princes of the mushroom kingdom with a few slight alterations. Grants you the ability to summon a certain spiky shelled king through a wicked weave. Basically, those big giant legs I was kicking with. Yeah, they um, get replaced with Bowser. The wardrobe of the princess of Sarasaland with a few slight alterations. Basically, the same deal, just a slightly different colour and with a little Luigi, Johnson, and Mario. Don't know why they wasted their time. Also, I'm wondering, because with this menu, because there were unlockable costumes in the original, are they gone now? Just replaced with these, like this one. Courage, power, and wisdom. Abound in this new take on the legendary hero's tunic. Enjoy a new kind of gameplay with. Yeah, you actually get to use the, the Master Sword as a weapon. Yeah. The power system, too. Power suit of the Fane Galactic Bounty Hunter. Being firing arm cannons, <laughs> the girl needs to overcome inhospitable alien terrain. Just fucking phone. People always phone at the wrong time. It's always going to be a fucking cold caller. Fire arm mounted beam cannon. Hold down D pad to lower or raise the suit's visor. I probably like shows you. I know where certain items are. For God's sake. Of course, it's a fucking robot. Piece of shit. I mean, the least could do is actually send, have an actual person phone up, innit? Bastards. But yeah, so I don't know if they're gonna have the other costumes available. I'll, I'll show a few other ones, those costumes later. For now, uh, I'll do a few levels with the default Bayo. It's the way it has to be. I'll save it. Just 
and secure my first save file. It's not a good start, this is it, but... We've only got seven minutes of gameplay, I guess it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I, I won't be going level by level like I try to do normally. It's going to be more like, yes, Deadpool. Something like that. <laughs>